Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a tarot monthly horoscope for August 2018 and this is for you coming from Gemini. So let me shuffle my Kabbalistic tarot cards and the first card that I'm going to pull will have to do with your first 15 days in the month of August for you coming from Gemini. And I'm going to start talking to you about your job, business and financial areas. And I'm sorry to say it's not a good card and you're going to have many differences with your job people, the people you work with, your bosses at your place of work. Many problems are overflowing from one to another, it says, in the first 15 days of August. So you'll have to be very cautious that things are going wrong very fast. And if you're not careful, you coming from Gemini, many mistakes are going to be made and your job can be at risk in that way. And if you're looking for a new job in the first 15 days, if I were you, go ahead and apply, but don't expect too much. So it's better for you to wait and just concentrate on the job you have. And if you must apply for a new job, be ready for delays. Regarding your business area, this card is pretty worrisome. It says it's going to be money wasted. So in the first 15 days, if you're in business, I would advise you not to take risks of wanting to venture out into new businesses. Just consolidate, look after what you have. Because whatever you try and do, it seems to just create more issues and more problems. If you're thinking of expansion, if I were you, I wouldn't in the first 15 days. Because it's not going to get you anywhere and it's just going to cost you a waste of money. And your general finances, I say, are being spread. They are being spread. And when they are being spread, that means they are being stretched. And if you stretch them further, they may go to the breaking point and you may end up with not enough money to make things go round, to go round and round. So job, business, finances, a lot of issues, a lot of problems in the first 15 days. The next card that I'm going to pull will be to do with your romance, marriage and family areas for you coming from Gemini. And the first 15 days show, well, if you find a new romance, it says that romance will come with many issues, one of them a financial issue, one of them an ego issue, and one of them an issue of secrecy. So you're going to get yourself to be involved or to meet a new possibility of a romance in the first 15 days of August, which is full of complications. So don't give your heart away too quickly. Do some research first. And if you have an ongoing romance, there can be many issues which are going to trouble you in these first 15 days. And they very clearly on this card show they got the areas of finances as the one that's creating the most problem. So your ongoing romance may have differences where finances are concerned in the first 15 days. Is you listening to me. So try to work ahead and see why these financial issues are going to stretch your ongoing romance and put it into trouble. And the other worry I see is that you may have a partner or could it be you who is going to be behaving very egoistically. So you definitely don't want to do that. And if it's your partner who wants control being egoistic, well, never mind. Uh, tell yourself to be accommodating as much as you can. Now, if you're married, this card shows more serious problems. There are problems, firstly, which lead to the person who wants control over decision making. So in the first uh, 15 days, you and your marriage partner will have this tussle of making decisions. And it's you listening to me, so be reasonable and accommodate your marriage partner as much as possible regarding decision making. I also worry about confrontation and provocation. So be careful of the words you use in these first 15 days of August with your marriage partner and your other family areas as well. So marriage areas, romance areas can be very touchy in the first 15 days. And you have to be very cautious that they can be uh, just stretched to creating more problems. Now I'm going to pull this next card and I'm going to talk to you about your lucky dates. I'll come back to you in a little while regarding your last 15 days. 
Let me talk of your lucky dates in the month of August for you coming from Gemini. And the dates that I like are the 8th, the 17th and the 26th. These are going to be very special dates for you from this looking at this card. Kabbalistic cards always show zodiac signs and the signs of planets so they help me choose. So the 8th, 17th, 26th of August is going to be very special for you. It can build up long-term possibilities. So whether in business, whether in job, whether in romance, whether in marriage, try to use the 8th, 17th and 26th to find solutions and to enhance whatever area you want to improve. So these are your very powerful dates. The next card that I pull for you will be to do with your lucky ages. So every month I'll give you a sample of extremely lucky ages. And the lucky ages I've chosen for you here are if you happen to be the ages of 17 or 26 or 35 or 44 or 53 or 62 or even 71, you're going to be one very lucky person in the month of August, whether job, whether business, finances, whether in love, whether romance, whether marriage and family. So you will be the chosen one to do extremely well. And if you are not of these ages, don't worry too much. You'll just need to have a 90 minute session with me, which will cost you USD 50, five zero. And during this 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about all areas of your life for your next seven or eight years. And this will be based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. But we will talk about that a bit later. So these are your lucky ages. Now, I want to quickly talk to you about your health condition in the month of August for you coming from Gemini. Now, the problems here are digest digestive areas. So there may be anything to do with gastric, anything to do with a slow digestion, the constipation. So eat sensibly during the month of August. And the other thing I worry about for you is some form of allergy as well. The signs of planets on this card show that it's a dryness of the skin or it could be also psoriasis. So if you have these problems, go and have them checked about. So it's nothing very serious. So you'll have a few of these little problems in the month of August. Now I'm going to put all these cards back and shuffle them all over again so that I can talk to you now about your last 15 days of August for you coming from Gemini. Wow, and this is a beautiful card, a wonderful card. So the last 15 days of August, as you go day by day, moving towards the 31st of August slowly, they improve and they improve and they improve. And let's talk of firstly, your area of job, business and finances. So your job business, your job area, you will either get good news of promotions, more status, more credibility, more reward, and you'll feel safe at your job. And if you want to look for a new job, this is the perfect last 15 days of August to make the move because everything you do and say is going to be very well received. So even at your ongoing job area, you get very good news and you do well. And if you are in business, this is the time to make the move in the last 15 days. Go slow in the first two or three days of the last 15 days and from then on you will see the momentum of good luck comes for you. So whether it's chasing for new business, whether it's to improve the ongoing business, whether it's to look for money supply, whether it's to look for business, for, uh, business partnerships, all these last 15 days, day by day, they improve to give you whatever you want. So you're going to do pretty well in the business area in the last 15 days. And your general finances are improving a lot in the last 15 days. Probably if you meet your bank manager, you're going to get what you want as well. So lots of good news for you. Now I'm going to pull the next card which will have to do with your last 15 days for romance, marriage and family. Now your, your new romance, I do worry a bit. I do worry a bit because this new romance comes with issues that you don't know about. Something personal, something secretive. So don't give your heart away so quickly if you find a new romance in the, in the last 15 days of August. Find out from this person what the issues are slowly and understand this person first. 
regarding the ongoing romance, that's going to be good. So the people you already know is better with them. People coming into your life new, be a bit careful. So your ongoing romance is going to provide plenty of support and love and you'll be planning for the future and good news like that, making you very happy. And if you're married, if you're married, then you're going to have plenty of good news as well. There could be an addition to a family from this card. There could be planning for holidays or travel. There's happiness in this card where marriage is concerned. So last 15 days give you a lot of reason to celebrate for some reason or another. So this is what I can tell you for the uh, last 15 days of August. Well, as I said, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50. It's on Skype or it can be on Facebook uh, Messenger or it can be on WhatsApp. And so I'll tackle your next seven or eight years for you in this 90 minutes. And I'll give you a lot of information about lottery lucks and lucky numbers and all kinds of information. And with that, you'll be able to improve your lifestyle and improve your partnerships and just be happier knowing exactly your strengths. And so your, your next seven or eight years will come under your control. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, leave me a message, send me an email, and I'll come back to you and we'll get this 90 minutes going so that all areas of your life you will know well in advance your next seven or eight years and how to get them to become even better. Until then, thank you and good luck.